Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. We're back on the Vendo 39. Got the liner pieces put on the face plates. Clear coat is looking fabulous. We're gonna try to get this door put together tonight. Our next step, we're gonna clean this thing up tonight. Uh, give it a good uh, gloss uh, paint job on it and just kind of get it cleaned up before we pop that back on there. But uh, the coating's on there, it's been sitting overnight. We're gonna get the tape off and uh, let's see if we get, uh, get this thing back together. All right, we're gonna switch over to the, the chute, kind of show you what we've got here. It's a little rough in areas. I'm gonna take a kind of razor blade and just clean some of those areas up. Obviously, the only thing that's showing is this edge right here. So I wanna get this cleaned up. We wanna get that glued back in, get all our screws put in, and get it tightened back down while we've got it exposed here, because. I've seen people have this in there, leave it glued in, and then they try to put their door back on and the screws fall through the back side. These look pretty good, but we're gonna get it cleaned up. There's little plates right here that are in there. And these look fairly tight. Uh, they may be all right. We might leave that part of it on there. They look like they're glued in pretty good, but we're gonna clean at least this face piece up and uh, see if we can get this thing back together. Be really cautious when you're cleaning this uh, plate up. Don't dig it in too much. We just want to kind of clean that face up a little bit so we got a nice flat edge. So when you set this back down on there, it fits down there really nice. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of a the gray scotch right pad and just a little bit of water. Let's we'll kind of spray that down just a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a good scrub down, get into all the little crevices. Scotch bright works great for this area. I'm gonna put down a self-etch primer. Since we're dealing with a plastic here, I know it's already got a coating on it, probably not needed. Um, I've kind of switched on that. I used to use a, just shoot these straight black, but it seems like uh, the color holdout is better when you got a self etch on there. You get a rag and wipe this down here. So I'm using a, a self etch product that kind of helps etch into uh, plastics or actually bare metal it's just a kind of a it's got probably a little bit of an acid etch to it but part number 7220 make sure it's good and dry don't have any water in there and it takes just a very light coat that should be good so we'll be shooting a, the Krylon Fusion. It's called all-in-one, which basically means it's got rust protection, fast drying, any surface. Uh, part number 2702. So this product here, what, what's the difference between a primer and uh, a product that's got a, that they call etch? Etch kind of gives it a bite into the product. So if you're shooting on bare metal, you really need to have something that has an etching properties to it. Once that etches in, then you can put your primer over the top of that. So always a little bit of confusion, you know, what the, what's the difference between an etch and a primer? All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna hit it with one more coat. 
Alright. So we're going to take this and we're going to let this uh, dry over here. That will really come out good. Alright, we're going to get the selection door going next. Hang on to them screws. And then take the back piece off. We're gonna clean that up too. If you're looking at those screws in there, they're a, a plat for, for plastic. A little bit different. Some of them's got a little edge where it cuts in, forms its own threads. These did not have that cut on them, but they look like the factory one. There we go. So as you can see, the inside looks really good. A little bit here we need to clean up. Not too bad. Get this edge really good and clean. That's for this gasket. We're gonna be putting a brand new gasket in here. Make sure you have the gasket for this. It is a must. Do not use the old one. Uh, Cause probably the old one looks like mine right now. Pieces. So if you've been watching the series, you've been keeping track with us uh, this week, which I don't know when this video will hit. Uh, we've shot so much footage, I cannot even keep up with when it actually gets released. But uh, this week, uh, we are in the uh, first week of October and we hit 600 uh, for the channel, which is crazy crazy nice i had no idea we've went a little over a year uh i think right now but thank you wow just incredible we just got our merchandise uh side up so a lot of things happening hey support all the guys that i got on the ending page uh vengeance uh i got uh gary olson it does all my uh, compressor stuff on my completes that I, I send him. All right, we got that back piece. All the gasket off of it. Didn't take much. That's why I say don't reuse the old gasket. It is nothing left usually on this on this back gasket that is probably the original get the scotch bright out we're going to scrub it down real good that's just water just water in there nothing nothing special if you want to throw a little soap in there great Get some etch back on it now. So here goes the uh, silver first. So next step, we're going to put the gasket back in there. You'll see a sticky side and a non-sticky side, obviously. And you'll have to stretch it. I usually start on one end, get it set into that piece. And if you, if you mess up, you can always pull back and catch it again. But you make sure it's down in the channel is the critical part you don't want it to stick outside of that channel it'll it'll seat weird if you do then your back piece goes on here should have three screws they're little shorties and boy just snug that's all you want 
and that's going to kind of hold that gasket down in position uh that's pretty well done right there let's get the paint into the track of the open door here this is some uh base coat that's been pre-reduced and uh, we're going to basically we're going to fill the tracks up make sure you get enough paint in there that fills everything up so we're going to let that dry tonight that will get put on a little bit later so next step the tall scoop side, this tall side always goes to the top. So it's going to go on just like that. Underneath here, there is a bar that is actually glued in and I've left it alone. They're, they're, it was perfect. I didn't do anything. I have taken and chipped out all the compounding that's around here. But we're going to get this all locked down first before I... Uh, re-cock all this edging here. So before we stick our door piece on here, I want to get this all fully aligned really good. Looks really good right now. Once we pull that together, I think we'll be good there. Let's go ahead and put the door on. You'll see a little pin housing in there. That's kind of, a, I call it alignment tab for me. That's what I use it for. But you're going to pull this little edge up and we're gonna try to hold this down just like that. Usually do the top one here if we can get it in there. Get your screwdriver ready. Okay, we got the alignment pin in there. At this point, it would be nice to have an extra set of hands. If you ever tried to put one of these on with the, the lining in the back on, you will find out at times if those little brackets are loose back there behind, all of a sudden you can't hit anything. And at that point, uh, you know what you're going to have to do. You're going to take the back off and get your alignment pins lined up. Okay, looks great. Not bad for the first trial run. Let's tighten all them up. Nice. So, on the back side, those screws are coming into a plate right here. One, two, three, four. If this plate gets loose at any point in time, putting that screw in there and it just sit there in free wheels, you know this plate has come off. That means the whole back's gotta come apart in order to get into this spot. Okay, so if you got a housing that is broke, a little, this one's got part of the thread missing. So I'm gonna show you one of the ways I've done it. If you guys got any better way, you know, put it in the comments. I use a product called Sonic Weld. It's a little putty stick. It's got a, a hardener built into the stick. But the center is black, and uh, probably that's the hardener part. We're going to take this little piece right here. We're going to knead it together. you got about a 15-minute setup time. After an hour, it can be drilled, tapped, and machined. So that's our goal. We're going to attach it right on the side. Press it into that thread all the way around. Make sure this is level across here because your plate will sit on the top there, but get it enough there to where when the thread, that thread goes in there, we'll use the guide uh, for whenever we set the plate on here, we'll let that be our guide. So I wanted to show you this part here so you know what's going on when we set that back down. This is an area that you want really good and tight. We've got the screws already placed from the other side, and today we're going to compound this all in. We're going to a product called, uh, made by 3M. It's a fast cure. It's what we use for glass. Part number 8690. 
uses a regular caulking gun. When you get it, you'll have to puncture the, the top and you'll open the back. And your plunger then will go into there. So puncture that top, get it opened up, get your tip on there, and we're gonna cut that tip just a little bit wider. I use this product for panel adhesion, any kind of joint. I'm gonna cut it about that wide right there. I should have warmed this product up a little bit. It's, it's a little cold right now. <laughs> when you're applying this on the back side, not that critical. Just fill up all your gappage. All right, make sure you get you some gloves on. Uh, at least one in that you're gonna be dealing with the product. Cause it is messy. you want to get it totally sealed off you don't want any gaps you don't want any air getting through that thing at all all right we're ready to lay some insulation in that should clean up everything insulation wise our uh, lid will We'll sit down on there, our backing plate to the door, and leave you a little slot right there. You'll see your holes lining up on this piece right here. That looks good. I'm buying the pre-drilled holes on these gaskets and man it's such a time saver so spend a little extra money get the pre-drilled holes it's going to make life so much easier you don't have to sit there and cut a hole in the gasket on each one which i've did it forever uh, well i'll try one i probably will never go back to the to the ones that you got to cut a hole in so let me grab my drill here right quick Try to get the gasket right level with the door. I know usually when you get to the corners, it comes a little bit of an issue. It's fairly lined up right now, it looks good. All right, here we go. We're gonna go through now and tighten everything down. It looks like everything is really centered pretty nicely, pretty good. Everything's right on the money. All right, we have made it all the way around. We will get it off of there. It definitely gains some weight. Thanks for staying with us. It's been a great evening of getting some stuff done. Hopefully, you picked something up. If you did, uh, if you learned anything tonight, hey, give me the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, we're going to catch you on the next section.